I wanted to brew a coffee uh, today that is an example of a little more of a direct relationship that we were able to pursue as a result of our import partners and our export partners in a really beautiful part of the world um, in Huila, Colombia, um, and specifically near a town called Acevedo. So I just thought that we would uh, have a little pour over this morning. So I'm gonna weigh out a little bit of this coffee. It's a really beautifully sort of processed um, coffee from this part of the world. In Colombia, there are two harvests, so at least two, sometimes more than two, but um, this comes from the fly crop or the mitaka harvest. And I was there sort of last September choosing some coffees for us to feature here at Small Plains. And this coffee is a blend of the production of three small farms. So this coffee is called El Verhel, but uh, there were three producers that sort of mixed their coffees together um, to create this lot. And because of that, I think it has um, some really delicious layers of complexity as a result of those three different harvests kind of being um, put together as a reflection of this region. Excuse me just a moment. So yeah, one of the, the fun stories about this coffee, I didn't originally know that it was gonna be a blend of coffees from three different producers. So it wasn't until later that I knew that and I knew the names of the producers. But I got this phone call from um, one of my buddies who works for the importer that we buy a lot of our coffee through. And he said, hey, you remember El Verhel, that coffee in Colombia that you picked that um, was so delicious? Um, it's a blend of three different producers' lots and every year we have a competition called the Acevedo Cup in Colombia where um, producers are encouraged if they are uh, working in the region to bring all their coffees to one um, location and there's sort of a best of Acevedo competition that happens um, at that point where a bunch of coffee experts come and they score all the coffees and the producer that sort of has the winning lot is paid um, a lot of extra money in sort of recognition of that high quality that's achieved in that particular year. And the thing that I'm excited about this coffee is, one, it's very delicious, but also we'll be featuring a little bit of the winning lot from the Acevedo Cup as a result of our sort of ongoing relationship with this coffee. I still really enjoy making coffee in this way as a single cup using the pour over method. And part of that is it's very sort of nostalgic for me because long before I ever got my first job in coffee, this was my coffee ritual. Every morning at home, um, waking up, um, choosing a coffee that um, I'd found in a local shop and making that first cup of coffee um, for myself in the early morning using this exact uh, ceramic dripper that we have here at the roastery now. I like the fact that it takes a little bit of time and I like the fact that you get a sort of uh, a benefit from being intentional and taking your time and sort of following a few steps. But I also like that it's simple and that it's something that anybody who enjoys coffee can achieve um, in the comfort of their home. So certainly for us at Small Plains, we try to take our work really seriously, but we also try not to get too far away from the basic ritual and the basic enjoyment of coffee. Um, and not too far away from probably the simple methods that many of our customers are going to employ when they take a bag of our beans home. I think it tastes just a little bit better when you have to wait three or four minutes for it. <laughs> But at the end of the day, you know, there's only so much time that you should spend talking about coffee before you drink some. <laughs> <laughs>